everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Art Mr. Malik. It's your host, Mr. Malik. And so today we're going to do some color mixing again. Da, 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 da. So the fun part about color mixing is discovering what colors you can come up with when you mix, right? So in our last segment of this, we did um, yellow and blue to see what kind of greens we can come up with, I believe. And now we're going to do yellow and red, some different types of red to see what kind of colors we can mix. So does anybody know, like, if you mix red and yellow together, what color you get? Because red and yellow is a primary color. And when you mix them together, what can you get? You want to find out? Come check it out. Everybody. Welcome back to episode of Art Mr. Malik. It's your host, Mr. Malik. And so today we're going to do some color mixing again. Da, 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 da. So the fun part about color mixing is discovering what colors you can come up with when you mix, right? So in our last segment of this, we did um, yellow and blue to see what kind of greens we can come up with, I believe. And now we're going to do yellow and red, some different types of red to see what kind of colors we can mix. So does anybody know, like, if you mix red and yellow together, what color you get? Because red and yellow is a primary color. And when you mix them together, what can you get? You want to find out? Come check it out. So what you have here in front of me, you that I have is my colors, which are yellow, rust yellow, vermilion, deep red, and then just regular red, right? And so I have all of them set out here on the table. And I'm going to use my trusty palette knife to mix them together to see what I can, what I can come up with. So let's mix these colors together. You ready? Get that orange. It almost looks like a burnt sienna. Let's go to the next one. Ooh. What do you think you're going to get here? This one still looks reddish to me, but it has some type of orange tint to it. Look at that. Right? And I'm just wiping my knife off on a piece of paper on the side. So now I'm going to mix the red, the yellow and the red together. Look at that. Some of them are brighter and some of them are darker in the orange family, but they're all still pretty much the same type of orange. I like this one here too. This looks like a little, looks like a blood orange, if you want to call it. That guy. Ta da! It's hard. It might be hard to see on the camera the differences in the types of orange I have here. Some of them are very, very orange to all like this deep orange that we have here, right? So check it out. The fun part about doing this is really just kind of seeing what you can come up with and trying to mix some colors to see what you can decide and what you can make to add to your paintings and drawings and whatever you're using the paint for. So don't ever be afraid to mix some colors together and see what you can come up with. So this was just a quick demonstration I wanted to do just to see again what this can do like we did last time. And stay tuned because I'm going to keep doing it again and see what colors I mix together next time. And if you have some suggestions, by all means, put them in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.